Hello, this is Pat Obi, and uh, this example on moving average forecasting considers a time series that contains both the trend components and the seasonal components. And it's, as is always the case, it's going to be some random irregular components in the series as well. The seasonal components of a time series is arguably the most important for many businesses since often revenues and operating costs as well as, for that matter, employment decisions are affected by seasonal factors such as weather, climate, and holidays. So being able to account for seasonality is, is essential in short-term and medium-term forecasting. So let's go ahead and show an example on spreadsheets right here is our data sets all right and um, in this example a plot of the sales data the original series is going to reveal that revenues rise in the second quarter and it's going to dip in the fourth quarter so let's plot it by highlighting these three columns right there stop right there and we go to insert and the first one is just fine uh, you can see it right here all right uh, the plot also reveals an upward trend as you can see over the entire period and so as you can see in addition to seasonality which is uh, clearly shown here there's also a trend component in the time series and as a side note to so the term uh, time series is singular as it refers to a variable whose values are observed sequentially over time so in this example let me go ahead and uh, get rid of that so in this example because we have quarterly data and having found that the series exhibits seasonality every quarter we're going to calculate a four quarter moving average to smooth out the series and when we calculate the moving average we're going to be smoothing out the random um, components as well as the seasonal component revealing only the trend so let's do that so now let's see as you know to calculate uh, moving average we need to be centered around the uh, observations so for example in the case of a three point moving average we would have had to stay here if it's five period moving average one two three four five we would have had to stay right here to calculate the moving average but for a uh, period moving average where are we gonna stay here or here <laughs> so we're gonna be off centered let's go ahead and calculate that right there around the third period anyhow so equal average open parenthesis highlight the first four observations and close parenthesis all right and then go ahead and copy down and when we get there to the last observation hit the function key F2 and you can see it's including in um, a blank cell so that tells you we should delete that all right so this is what we got now though because the four point moving average is off centered we're gonna have to calculate the modified or if you like the centered moving average in order to align the moving average with a defined row because actually what you have here like um, for example this first moving average of 2366 in actuality um, hang on I'm trying to get rid of this that annoyance right there so this observation right here is actually centered between 2595 and 2454 so it's there off centered in between the second and the third quarters likewise this guy right here is off centered it sits in between the third and the fourth quarters but obviously we have no way to show an off centered observation on spreadsheets in in the uh, appropriate manner so nevertheless knowing that that's the case what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the average of this off-centered value right here which is this one right here and this off-centered value right here which is this value right here we're gonna take the average of those two notice if I take the average of some value here 
and some value here it's gonna be centered right here in the third quarter so I'm gonna sit right there and I'm gonna go average and I grab these two close and before I hit enter again bear in mind that this first one is sitting right here and this second one is sitting right here so that their average is gonna be sitting right here all right you see what I did there <laughs> all right so you just go on ahead and copy down there you go and this last one here F2 blank cells so delete this one right here F2 it blank cell right here delete there you go now we have our centered moving average so let's go ahead and plot our moving average and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these stop right there insert plot first one right there and we don't really want the uh, MA4 column to plot because we don't really need that so you can right click on the graph go to select data and click on this MA4 and remove it and OK and go back up here that's what you get All right as you can see the smoothed series which is a green line right here see centered moving average right there alright has removed both the seasonal components which are the um, the peaks and the troughs as well as the irregular um, the irregular components which are the uh, tiny movements along the ways revealing just the trend the green line which as you can see is upwardly sloped to perform a forecast however it's important to account for seasonality since clearly we have it in the series alright and so we're going to show that in the next video.